Hello. In this video, we will understand port numbers. And why? Because it is very essential for this course to understand port numbers. Later, you will see there is a section known as port scanning, where you will understand uh, why it is important. Okay, so let's get started to understand port numbers. I'm going to make it very quick so that you can understand the essential meaning of port. Let's say I have a computer here. If this computer is having a name A, let's say it's user A and it's his computer. The IP address is 172.168.1.1. It's the IP address belong to this A. And this A is interested in sending a packet to a person B. So let's say a B person is sitting somewhere here. All right, if this is the person, uh, computer and he is having an IP address of 10.10.1. Maybe 2. All right, mm -hmm. it's okay. Now, what will happen is if this is a packet he is interested in sending, let me draw a packet. Now, if he wants to send this packet, then he have to be he needs to handle three different parameters. One is known as uh, IP address, another one known as MAC address. And the third last thing is known as port number. Three things to be handled by which this packet can move from A to B. Otherwise, it is not possible. So what is going to uh, be there in the IP? IP will give you the, the network. And you know that IP is con consists of network address and host address. So basically, it will give you that uh, to which network this packet belongs or to which network this packet is destined to. So you know that in an internet, in a distributed network, there are different networks. If this is a, a network of maybe Ash Network 1. Maybe this is a different network, maybe of Ash Network 2. Maybe there is a network, uh, Hash Network 3. Then how this packet going to understand that to which network should I go? It is the responsibility of the IP address uh, which gives that this is the network 2 uh, you are going to destine. Okay, so this is actually uh, because in the source IP address and the destination IP address, I'm going to give the IP address and by which this packet is going to move, right? So he's moving, right? This is moving and it is just going to sit outside the boundary of this network 2. Now you know that there is a host and um, uh, network uh, address and there is something called as MAC address. And why MAC address? Because in the network 2, it is not only the B, there are C, there are D, there are E, there, there is F, there are multiple receivers and every multiple receivers are having the IP address and the MAC address, right? So how this packet going to know to which uh, to which uh, user I belong to, I'm, I'm destined to. It is the destination IP address definitely and there is going to be destination MAC address which precisely gives a kind of uh, uh, a kind of pathway to this packet uh, so that it can reach to its precise destination. So it is the MAC address now and definitely the IP address uh, going to help. So now the packet is going to sit just outside the boundary or just uh, outside the computer uh, of this P. Okay. So now the packet re it reaches to the uh, ultimate destination, the B. The scenario is going to be like this. If this is the B computer and, uh, and the packet is somewhere here. Now what will happen is how this uh, packet is going to know to which uh, you know, to what service should I open? If it is inside the computer, what should I do in the computer? It doesn't know anything. And it is the responsibility of a port number, which is also known as service addressing number, which says that this service in the inside the B computer packet will tell the B that this service you need to open. Okay, so there the port numbers comes up. So port number tell you that it is the service it is a service you need to open and how precisely be going to know with the help of port numbers. So, you know, you have seen this in many a time. So if this is like uh, if it is if I write here 80 like this, then B will understand that it is a port number for HTTP. 
specifically for browsing internet or surfing internet right if the port number is 443 then he gets to know that uh, he needs to add security in the HTTPS if the port number is 21 then definitely B is going to know that uh, the uh, the packet is precisely doing something called as file transfer or FTP right in the same way if a port number is 25 then B is going to understand that this packet is precisely going to do something called as email uh, it's it is for SMTP actually but I'm just saying, saying that the service right so with the help of port numbers your destination going to know that uh, this service I need to open so there are different ports you having uh, different blogs and websites and YouTube videos you can please watch it uh, for the uh, you know what do you call flowchart maybe the, uh, there is something called as well defined port registered port and dynamic port uh, ranging from 0 to 65535 there are so many ports you do not re need to remember each and every port numbers but the major port numbers which are very important to the course or for cyber security you need to remember it because port is very important for cyber security and why it is important you see that port says or port number says uh, it is nearly known as uh, it opens actually it opens a service opens a service now how it is advantageous for uh, anyone in the cyber security is because let's suppose that this is a computer and let's say this hole is basically a kind of uh, open service okay it is a open service so suppose that uh, by some means an attacker who is sitting here get to know that this b i'm sorry i need to change the color apologies for that if this attacker gets to know that a b computer has an open service then he will form a packet a malicious packet a malicious code inside it and it will send it uh, to the B and with the help of this open service this packet is going to be inside this computer going to be set here inside the inside the B computer and later he can do something like exploit or maybe he will um, uh, he will send some payload or something like that okay so it is not a good idea because this attacker somehow gets to know that there is an open service inside a b computer can send anything with the help of that open service so uh, it's not a good idea and that's why it is important to uh, know some something about port numbers so a port is actually uh, having three different criteria in port scanning when you do port scanning in the later sessions you will see three different things you will see one is known as open port uh, another one is known as closed port and another one is known as filtered port so three results you will get in your port scanning so open port says let's say there is a telnet service inside a computer so if this is a telnet service all right and uh, maybe this is a user who is doing port scanning and this is a computer by the way all right now what will happen so if this is open let's say the status is open open port then he will send something and tell it because telnet is open it is an open service then telnet is going to reply back okay so this is a request and reply so telnet is responding something right so in this case you can send anything to the telnet and telnet is going to accept it uh, okay and uh, anything you can do with the help of open service right suppose now the case is for the closed service now what will happen what do you mean by closed actually uh, closed is something like service is closed your telnet service is actually closed it is not responding so anything you send it to the telnet now in this case it is not going to respond back because the service is actually closed so there is no option you will get anything you will not get any response suppose the third criteria or the third thing is known as filtered now what do you mean by filtered is actually when a computer is is being is being secured by something called as firewall so if this is a this is a firewall then what will happen in this case when you send something to the telnet service definitely telnet is going to respond back but uh, 
this person who is doing port scanning get to know that this telnet service is protected by firewall okay so he is going to understand that whenever i send or whatever i send is going to be logged inside the firewall my identity is going to be you know logged inside the firewall so he is going to have some fear all right so in this case uh, is is this computer is actually protected because one thing is do one thing he is doing is is protecting the service another another one is anyone who is requesting to this service is going to be logged inside the firewall so the filtered port are the you know the most intriguing uh, port ports uh, in the port scanning and uh, definitely this filtered port uh, uh, are the interesting part and you will get a whole lot of information in your port scanning about this filtered port uh, so i hope you understand it so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next session